In this video, I'm going to show you how I upgraded my Simna X5C's remote control with a 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna that I found somewhere else. There are two power wires that connects the battery case and the PCB, and they are hard hardwired. So in this case, you can see it's soldered on. So I just cut them in half to get uh, to separate the two halves of the casing in order to play with the, 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 the PCB. And after you take apart the two halves of the plastic casing, there are eight screws that attach the PCB to the front casing. So you want to take them apart. So here it is. You can uh, take apart the PCB. You don't have to take the LCD uh, away from the casing like I did. I was just not thinking clearly and I, I decided to take the LCD um, off. You can just unplug the LCD um, connector from the PCB and play with the rest of the PCB. There are a bunch of buttons, and uh, make sure you you know how to you know you make sure you know how to re reassemble all of them. Um, there should be four sliders, and two buttons on the corner, and the power yeah, the, the, and the power in the middle. So again, you don't have to take the LCD out. You can just disconnect it from the board, but make sure all the buttons are kept and you know where it goes. So here it is. This is the antenna. It's actually just a wire that um, was ha soldered on the PC PCB. So my project is to re replace this with an actual 2.4 gigahertz antenna that I got from one of my gadgets. You don't really need to replace it with a real antenna though. A lot of people are getting really good results just by extending extending this wire. Um, however, you need to know exactly how long a wire you need to extend. You basically want to make sure that it can uh, it, it, it can accept the, 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 the correct wavelength. So I measured this on my on my board. And it comes out to a little over one inch, as you can see here. Maybe one one inch and one thirty second. That's how long the stock is. So if you tend to, so if you want to increase the range by extending this wire, just make sure you extend, you know, it twice, three times, an integer um, multiple of this length. I think the correct uh, length. Uh, like one length is like a 4.9 something inch um, but you, you need to make sure the length is correct now how thick is the wire so I'm here looking at the 24 gauge wire that I have here to compare them and I think the wires seem similar and uh, this particular antenna might be just a little over, just a little thicker than the 24 gauge. So this is uh, the stock, which is really an empty shell, plastic shell, there's nothing in it. My point is to use this particular socket to connect to a new, uh, the an antenna shown here. So here I'm trying to arrange um, to seat the the socket for the antenna, where I can screw it uh, screw on the antenna from the outside. 
Um, what I found is that um, the casing can't really hold it. So I decided to use a washer to hopefully, uh, hopefully make it a, a little easier. And this washer, I believe, is three eighths of an inch. Um, if I measure here, um, in three eighths of an inch is um, it's it's not fitting perfectly. However, I think in the end I got lucky, and I was able to fit it really nicely um, with some fiddling. But you can see this is three eighths. So now I try to um, try to see if it fits. So you see the antenna screw, the seat has two wa uh, two nuts and I put a washer in between. Um, I think I might have been able to put more than that. Uh, probably two or three. But I don't know, I don't think it would have made a difference. So now I have to determine how to solder, um, how long to cut off to solder back on, and um, So after, you know, some careful considerations, I think I need to cut off, um, I think these two need to be connected quite closely. Um, and uh, uh, they probably don't need to be insulated, but I decided to do it anyway. Yeah, um, I didn't speed up this, ha this part of the video just to show you guys how the fit looks 
in this particular case and um, but for the most part I I try to speed up the video so you guys don't get bored but I think the fiddling part um, I want to show you how good this actually fits with the 3.8 washer oh. So now I solder it after um, after having decided that the inside of the antenna, um, the actual conductor in the antenna, inside of all, all the sleeves um, is actually pretty small. So uh, it's pretty thin. So I'm just going to solder it together. <sighs> So here's a close look at how it fits before I do the soldering. Oh. I should say that initially I tried to desolder the wire from the board and I wasn't very successful. I'm not sure why. Um, Maybe my solder, I, I should have um, tinned my, my solder a little more. I am not sure why, but I was unable to desolder the wire from the PCB. Of the antenna wire being stripped of the outside coating and the mesh. So yeah, here's my, my lame attempt to try to desolder the antenna um, from the PCB and it was just, it was just not coming off. Um, now I think maybe it's because one, the heat was too low, two, I didn't tin the tip enough. So here's the actual soldering and the yellow the yellow tube is a heat shrink tube. So this should be it. This is um the rest is just putting everything back together and trying to fit the antenna.
So here I am uh, wiring back the power cables. I added a little extension. So uh, the first time I put the antenna in, it, um, it kind of just wiggled out of the socket, which was not good. So I had to kind of open it back up and try to tighten, the, tighten the, the antenna a little bit so it has a pressure that, key, that, that holds the washer, that, that makes the washer hold out the antenna. Um, I know it might not sound... Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just... Um, it took a little bit of fiddling to get it working, but in the end, it, it, it got on and it, it, uh, it worked quite well. So I think I don't like the idea of the power cable being so short. Um, I like the idea that I can come back and take something apart again without having to resolder this power cable. So I decided to add uh, 8 inches of wire to, um, to extend the power cable, which now I think is probably too long, but well, it worked. So just putting everything together after the antenna fit was uh, confirmed and um, testing out the electronics, um, uh, the switches, putting back the battery and make sure everything's working and I'm done. Uh, the results, um, the re result looks pretty good. Um, I have yet to get a chance to to do the the, the test um, so I'll let you guys know um, how far of a range I can manage but um, for now I'm pretty happy with it it worked it definitely worked so there hope you like the video